Hi everyone, welcome to the Amy's Wednesday Prayer Circle. And we have a new time at 5 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. Eastern, streaming online, on social media, and our app, The Cure. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll start with a little prayer. Dear God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Please be with us, guide us, comfort us, open our hearts and our minds that we may be willing to only do what's pleasing to you and that we can discover that our purpose is to do your will. Amen. I hope everyone's well. Today, we're going to pray about having love for each other, treating each other kindly, having charity, and just being kind to each other. <laughs> I got this idea from a post that I saw on Facebook not too long ago. Uh, the other day, actually. It says, this year I want to be more like Jesus. I want to hang out with sinners. He came to heal sinners. Didn't he say bad company corrupts? Upset religious people. Tell stories that make people think. Choose unpopular friends. Be kind, loving, and merciful. And take naps on boats. Is upsetting religious people kind, loving, and merciful? So that's just it. Take a nap on boats? Well, Jesus slept in the boat, remember? He was sleeping during the storm. Can I do that more often? I'll be like Jesus. Sorry to you guys. So <laughs> we love to say things like be kind and be loving and merciful, and we write about it and we talk about it and we're poetic about it, but. Is our actions, do our actions show such a thing? Are we acting in such a way? Is our behavior in such a way? We can pray, we can go to church, but how is it that we treat each other? And that's really important. That's what love really is all about. And sometimes when we think we're right, or when we're scared, or when we're prideful. We forget our charity. We forget to be kind to each other. We forget that we're supposed to love one another. So in 1 John 4.19, it says, We love because he first loved us. So if Jesus was willing to die for us and did so, what are we willing to do for him? Jesus, you are the author and originator of love. We only know love because you are love and you loved us first. You love us specially and sacrificially. You loved us in our sin and rebellion against you. You love us despite the pain we inflict on others. You love us in our mess. It is that love, that selfless, self-sacrificing love, which allows us to love others. It is an overflow of your love for us that allows us to love other people. Amen to that. Jesus, <laughs> we ask you to make us better lovers of one another. Would you give us the heart and love to proclaim your love to those who need to hear it? Second Romans 3.10 as it is written, 
There is no one righteous, not even one. Mark 8.24 Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes. His sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. God, I want to lift up my friends and family who have not yet seen their need for a Savior because they do not see their own sin. Open their eyes to the hurt they cause you and others. Open their hearts to the death of their need for saving. May they see that there is no one righteous, not even one, Remove the scales from their eyes so they can see clearly. 2 Corinthians 2.15 For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. Father, we want to smell like you, look like you, sound like you, and touch you so that those around us can experience you. Jesus, make us a sweet fragrance to those who are being saved. When our love smells rotten to those who are perishing, Help us to love and pray for them. Help us remember that no one is outside the reach of God's grace. Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus, you offer the gift of salvation free, without cost and without prerequisites. We pray that our friends and families who need this gift would see that it is not something they can earn or buy. We ask that you would help them open their hands to you and accept this free gift. Acts 4.20 We cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. God, you have done incredible works in and through our lives. You have done incredible works through the lives of those around us. We pray that you will help us to tell others about the amazing things that we have seen and heard. We want it to be natural for us to desire to share all that you have done in our lives with others. Make us like the early church that could not help but speak. 6 Romans 8 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in, G in Christ Jesus. John 8 10 3 11. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No, no one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Father, so many of our friends and family feel condemned by the mistakes they've made and the sins they've committed. Some believe there is no way God or anyone could ever really love them. Jesus, we pray that you would help us 
to show the love of God to our brothers by withholding judgment and condemnation. We pray that through this love, your Holy Spirit would speak the words, You are forgiven. Now go and sin no more. Isaiah 6, 8-9 Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. God, <laughs> we know you're calling us to go. Some you call to the nations some just to a neighbor's house. You are calling all of us to say, Here I am, send me. God, send us to those who are in need of hearing your love story. Whether it is a parent, co-worker, child, or checkout clerk, whoever and whenever. Open our spirit to listen to your voice when you tell us to go. Eight. Oh, First Corinthians 9.19 For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all that I might win more of them. <laughs> Mark 10.45 The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus, you came to serve, not to be served. We want to be like you. We want to serve those around us so that they will see the selfless love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus, we want to be like you, washing the feet of those around us. As we do that, may we proclaim you the humble servant king. First Timothy one fifteen. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. God, we want to be humble proclaimers. We want to be humble proclaimers of your grace. We pray that you would keep our own sin and our own need for you at the forefront of our minds so that we would not boast in ourselves as we tell others about you. We pray that we would go to others as beggars, showing other beggars where to get bread. Keep us from getting prideful. Keep the truth of the gospel always before us so that we can better love others. 2 Corinthians 5.20 Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Holy Spirit, would you move in us to see our role as an ambassador of the gospel? We are God's mouthpiece his representative to the world. There are so many around us in need 
of reconciliation with others, more importantly, reconciliation with you. By your grace, we have the answer for them. We ask that you would give us the words to appeal and implore others to be reconciled. Titus 3, 4 through 7. But when the goodness and loving kindness of our God, of God, our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of generation and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Second Peter 3, 9 The Lord is not slow to fulfill his purpose, his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Jesus, we beg you to pour out your spirit on our lost friends and family. May they see the goodness and kindness of you, our Savior. We pray they will no longer look to their own righteousness, but to yours. We pray you will be patient toward them, that they will turn from their sin and repent. We ask you to bring them into the great love story. Second Corinthians 3.3 3. And you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Jesus, help us to see that we are your love letters to a world desperate to be loved. We ask that you would show us that each one of us, that each one of our love stories is valuable to your kingdom and that you want to use us to spread your love letter to the ends of the earth. You have written the gospel love story on the tablets of our hearts and it's a story that needs to be shared. We pray for the courage and conviction to share our personal love letter with others. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today with this very long prayer. <laughs> We can also, you can also see us um, Saturday at 1 p.m. for the radio show. That's 1 p.m. Eastern, The Cure, which we also live stream. So until next Wednesday, much love. Be kind. Be true to yourself and others. Don't forget to pray. And most importantly, Keep the faith. Love you and God bless.